Guys, welcome back. I am sitting in a BMW M140i. Today we are going to be retrofitting Apple CarPlay to the factory screen. So this is what the factory system looks like. Everything that's factory will stay the same. So the screen's gonna stay the same. This iDrive controller, that's all gonna stay the same. Um, nothing changes, we're just adding our integration module. Um, so if you wanna see the install, stick around. If you just wanna see how the system works, skip to this time right here. But otherwise, check this out. Here is our video interface. This is basically what we're gonna be wiring into the system. Um, so this takes the video in and outputs from the main radio module to the screen. Uh, it intercepts those and then sends the CarPlay signal through that. Um, and then it obviously needs power and microphone and all sorts of good stuff. Okay, so after looking at the module, we then have a USB to AUX converter. Now, if this needs to be installed, we can look at that, but I don't think we need that. We've got the CarPlay USB, so you do need to add another USB, and um, that can be run center console, glove box, whatever you need. Now, this module does do wireless, so you can just have this to plug in for the first time, and then you can go ahead and connect it wirelessly. Have one of our LVDS video cable cables rather okay this is the primary harness so this will plug into the factory this will then plug into the radio and then we've got this plug here for our secondary harness so that will plug in and then run to the module have our AUX connection so what I would assume is from the main harness yep we've got the AUX out then that can plug in and then plugs into the module microphone so this is going to pick up voice control and the Wi-Fi antenna in okay, case so that needs to be screwed onto the module for wireless ba boom all right now let's start looking at disassembling the vehicle okay so first thing we need to do is remove the main radio which is behind this panel and so to do that we need to remove this panel right here so we have some plastic panel removal tools it's a little bit dark isn't it no worry I get crap for these videos being dark all the time. A bit better. So climate control was all clips, as you can see. And then we've got two Torx 20 screws right here. Just take your time with a lot of these connections and also when going back together make sure you don't forget anything okay everything needs to get plugged back in so what we can do now plug this in okay now if you notice here there is also fiber optic going into the original which is right here we need to remove that and put it into the same spot on the aftermarket all right guys, so we've got our aftermarket harness plugged in. I was just doing a little bit of research here, and what I found is this is the AUX plug connection, okay? And once we've gotten to the other side on the original, there's nothing connected to it. And then I had a quick look around and I noticed the car doesn't actually have an AUX input. So what I've done is removed this panel here, which is right there, so that was easy. That just popped straight up. And now what I'm going to do is remove the USB like that. I'm going to remove this little connection from the housing itself, which is just two clips on either side. Plug it back in to the original, and then we're going to use our USB to AUX converter, and we're going to tuck that underneath away so you can't see anything. And then I'm going to retrofit the CarPlay USB into this little dongle. So looking in the glove box, it just looks normal. Plug that in, there's your CarPlay. Um, and then the car recognizes AUX. So basically what happens is on the main audio screen, you scroll through and select USB. And once this is plugged in, it convinces the car that there's a USB plugged in and it's converting the sound to AUX, which is what our module needs. Okay, so if, hope that makes sense. If you have any questions regarding that, just drop them in the comments. Um, we've taped up some of this. Now on this loom, this is what goes into the CarPlay module. There's AUX 
out, audio out, okay? So that plugs in to there. So what's gonna happen is the module's gonna pick up your phone uh, through CarPlay, send the AUX signal out, it's gonna go to that module, to that little AUX converter, to the USB and through the car sound system. Um, and then our little USB, so before we go too far with that, that's going to get mounted, we're going to custom mount that into here, so that won't be very difficult, but before we do that, we're going to test everything, because that's probably one of the last things, as it is a modification. Now, not forgetting our optic fiber, um, and we've just retaped this loom, and so... Basically, we just need to look at the microphone and the LVDS connection, and then we can just do some basic testing. Bit of a recap. So, all of the genuine plugs are plugged back in. We've got the aftermarket harness plugged in, and we've got the main harness connector right there, as you can see. We did need to remove the glove box just to get some of this excess wiring through, and we can access it through there as well. Um, and yeah, that is about it. So we did have to intercept, let's see all the fingerprints, um, the screen. Now, right there in the middle, that cable, I'll just put this down. This cable right here goes from the screen to the module, and then um, from the module to the screen. So it's like a loop. We're taking, like I said, we're intercepting that connection. Um, down here, so this is all back together. We're actually missing a part that I need to do this so we're going to come back for that um so essentially it's just empty and when we're finished there will be a usb sticking up all right guys i figured i'd show you the final product so that is the usb how it looks obviously we've got nothing going on down here and everything is back to normal and you plug that in that will be your car play um, so for now, we're just going to have it either here or in the glove box, and then next week I'll come out with the part, finish this off, um, but at least he'll have car play for the meantime. Um, yeah, so I'll keep going with this, and we'll look at it when it's done. Alright guys, main radio module's back in, screwed down, uh, we've put the climate control and the, the centerpiece here back in, we've got the two screws, we remember the two screws on the screen, so that's all in nicely. Now, we just need to put the climate control back in, plug those two plugs in. Ah, uh, sorry, the air vents. Um, and that is pretty much it. So, just give you a little quick teaser. So, we plug that in, starts charging, boom. And then you've got connectivity. So, before we go through it though, I'll finish putting it back together. And yeah. All right, guys, that is the job done. So the car is back together. You can go ahead, start it up. As we see, we've got, turn that down a bit. So as you can see, we have all the genuine iDrive features working. So we can go back here. All right, everything works as normal. Um, the car does also have touch screen, so make sure the touch works. What we need to do is go to USB slash AUX, which is done. Okay, a bit OCD kicking in. Now, on the iDrive system, or the controller, there's a little back button right here. So we're going to press and hold that button. And as I do that, boom, it just switches over to CarPlay. So I'll come back up. Now we're in the CarPlay screen. What we can do 
is plug in our device, close it, lock it, whatever, and here you have Apple CarPlay. Now, everything works through the factory iDrive controller. So, uh, you guys can't see because the screen's going all weird with the camera, but this is a very, very nice image. It's very clear, it's very crisp, it looks really good. And from here, obviously, you can go ahead and play Spotify tracks, you can listen to podcasts, you can search Google Maps, um, you know, all sorts of stuff. Pressing BMW is just going to bring, bring us back to the main CarPlay um, menu, uh, or interface menu, rather. But from here, yeah, there's all of these things you can use. Um, you can push up, go to your phone, call someone, play music, messages. All right, here we go. Copyright claim incoming. Let's turn it down. Guys, that is pretty much the install done. Um, so just take another look. As you can see, everything is looking really good in place very nice okay the phone's here oh yeah so what i've done is just left this usb right here and uh, when i get my the extra parts that we need i'm going to get an extension as well plug that in extend it all the way up to here and then go ahead and finish our usb connection but you know that's okay that, that's between me and the customer we can work that out maybe even today i can do that um yeah that is the job done. Now, I think you can even use steering wheel controls to control it. Okay, so I'm just using the scroll wheel and I can go ahead and press in on the scroll wheel. That's going to hit enter for me. So, a lot of great features with this system, guys. Um, if you have... Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. And um, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.